This is it, Chief. End of the line. If I'm right, Eleanor's mama's using Adam to force all Rapture's minds and memories into the poor girl. Lamb reckons it'll make that child a saint. Now, Eleanor's in a deep, dark place beneath Fontaine headquarters, and to keep you alive, we need to sneak in and find her. This facility belongs to the city now, to Ryan Industries, at least until the rioting subsides. While it is unfortunate that such measures had to be taken, I must admit, it is gratifying to see this building condemned. Fontaine is gone. Lamb is gone, or close enough. I am alone at last. Alone with my city. October 9th. 1967. Hello. <clears throat> My name is Gilbert Alexander. And by the time you hear this, I will be clinically insane. I am recording these diaries in advance as a last-ditch effort to assist anyone I might threaten in dealing with me. My next message awaits you beyond the security checkpoint. The bioscan will ensure that you're sane enough to meet it. Hmm. Gil Alexander. As I recall, he was involved in Big Daddy development from the beginning. Likely had something to do with you and Eleanor, son.
the great? Oh, hell, that has to be Gil Alexander, same man who left that message we're following. He sounds mad as a March hare now. I have been exposed to a massive dose of substance, Adam. By the time you hear this, I will have armed this facility's defenses on Mars. You, my friend, must therefore penetrate them and kill me. Please believe that if I could have done it myself... Ah, uh, and on that cheery note, you may use the diary lying near this screen to bypass the vocal print locks ahead and enter the security office. The password is Agnes Day. Agnes Day. Please see password to enter. Agnes Day. Access granted. Welcome, Gil Alexander. I heard that. My likeness is company property, Delta, just like you are. Don't make me strip you for parts, Milado! Please see password to enter. I warned you. He's jamming the voice print lock with that awful crooning. See if you can find some way to sabotage his control of building security. Delta, you're dawdling. The security office is well above your pay grade. If you're so keen to help, the restrooms need a good scrap. Here's a clerk or two to help you along.
you for the battle of wits with a home appliance! Dismissal. Shall I simplify that for you? Fired! 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 Yeah. 
he's mad and will be sorry. my body. I look in the mirror and I see a freak. I remember very little. Just an artificial sense of peace and a compulsive hunger for Adam. Dr. Alexander is trying to help me adjust. He's responsible for part of my condition, but he wants to make amends.
Anyone in the plasmid business ultimately requires the use of human test subjects. It's our dirty little secret. And to be frank, Rapture doesn't really want to know, provided the end product is sound. The volunteers were scarce, even as the economy buckled. A man named Sinclair approached us with a seemingly limitless supply. He uh, rented them to us, bound and sedated. No questions asked. ventured here in search of conquest, Delta. Fontaine, Ryan, and now you. But every aspiring Caesar must learn to fear the knives of his fellows. Ask yourself, what does Sinclair stand to gain in guiding you here? The tyrant looks upon the world, saying, all of this is mine. And by force or guile, he makes it so. To the tyrant, the whole of creation is held in the relative. Some revolve away alone. For the tyrant, even justice is with him. He alone is fit to weigh, to measure, and to count. study to chart consciousness in all its strata. But intelligence does not require introspection. The son of Ryan was more effective than all his self-aware rivals. He lived without questions. I could end the self and save the world.
One little jab in the arm and even a hopeless underperformer can be employee of the month. Or you should know. Look around. Is any of this familiar? The Rapture consumer is indebted to you, my boy. We ironed kink after kink out of our domestic plasmids line on you right here. Well, let's see if you're staying competitive. Step on up and take the spotlight. Ladies and gentlemen, Fontaine Futuristics invites you to shed your skepticism, evolve your expectations, and dissolve your doubt as we unveil the revolutionary power of our home defense plasmid series. May I have a volunteer from the audience? Come now, don't be shy. How about you, sir? No, he's positively rigid. You, Mark, at the back. Oh, come on down. Let's give it a hand, folks. Only a single volunteer. Oh, come now, gentlemen. She'll be awfully nervous up here all alone. Come on down, all of you. Suits you to a T, my boy. Assume by now that you're willing to help end my life. In exchange, I have prepared a friendly security escort for you. Ah, uh, now, uh, there's a switch in here which will allow you access to the real laboratories where, where what's left of me awaits you. Please, use it. Wait. <laughs> 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 
As I recall from my time doing business with the owners, that Oxyfill station out there is just a front for a kind of hidden passage leading down below. If Lamb's hiding Eleanor from you, that's where she'll be.